What's good people, it's your hustle from home, dad back with another video teaching dads how to hustle from home so that you can spend less time with your boss and more time with your wife and kids. So in this video, I wanna give you three key signs that you should give up your side hustle because um, like it or not, I recently came up against this issue where I was faced with like a really tough challenge of whether I should, I built a side hustle into a full-time business. Well, no, it wasn't a full-time business, it was still mainly a side hustle. Um, but it was doing well once upon a time and it was no longer doing, it's no longer doing as good. So recently I've been faced with a decision as to whether to let it go or to stick it out. And sometimes it can be a challenge and most of the time it's a tough challenge. So I just wanted to share my experiences. And if you are going through the same thing and you're not sure, just kind of share some light on it really. So here are my three key signs. Um, that you should give up your side hustle. And yes, I did decide to get rid of this particular side hustle. Um, as much as it hurts me and pains me to say, I did decide to do it. And here, what, here's, here was the reasons that I um, got rid of it and you should consider too. So let me just move this out of the way. So first of all, let, let me, let's discuss the starting point, right? I have, for the past six, seven years, I've built multiple six-figure side hustles, okay? So let's not get this clear like these have been profitable side hustles but the starting point is it's easier than ever to pick a side hustle nowadays to bring in extra cash but some gigs some side hustles are more promising in theory than they turn out to be in reality and others might be profitable and lucrative but they come at an expense of our health and our even our main job right so some of you have full-time jobs you might be working a side hustle and it might just be crushing you to do both right and I'm, like I said I'm going to go through why it shouldn't be and the number one the first one out of the three keys as to why you should never give up your uh, why you should give up your side hustle if it's killing you is if you're facing consistent financial loss right so if you're constantly losing money from this side hustle it's probably time to give up okay it's probably time to let it go now I have a rule I constantly get approached with new opportunities, new side hustles, X, Y, Z. And I always ask myself this, am I willing to do this three to five years from now? Am I willing to do this three to five years from now? And if I'm not, if I answer to myself, no, then I don't get involved in the opportunity. And if I do, if I am happy to do it three to five years from now, then I, I entertain it and I look into whether it's worth doing. But my point being is the point of a side hustle is to bring in extra cash. It's to bring in extra money. And if you're losing money, then you need to get rid of it. Now, obviously, we know every side hustle, every venture requires capital going in. But that initial capital should be getting flipped. So if you put in a thousand pounds, right, that thousand pounds shouldn't come at a loss it should get flipped to 1500 and then that 1500 needs to be getting flipped to you know 3000 and then that 3000 gets flipped to you know 5000 and then that 5000 gets flipped to 10000 you should see a steady growth rate now like i said one of the side hustles that i've recently gotten rid of they saw a shoot up okay there was a period during covid where it dipped and it's never really it's never really come back but because of the person that i am um you know um i've I hang in there like I've given like COVID was four years ago and I probably should have let it go maybe a year after COVID but I didn't I hung in there and now we're four years on and I'm like it's not climbed out of that hole so I'm happy to get rid of it so if you if if you're finding yourself dipping and you know and you're losing money then you need to let it go um and yeah, the side hustle that I've recently had to let go, it has been losing me money. I've been making money from it, but it, has, it hasn't made the money that it once was. And it's going lower and lower and lower. So if I stick around, it's going to get to a point where I'm actually at a loss. OK, and that's not something that we want to do. So if you're consistently losing money from your side hustle, let it go and get rid of it. Take it behind the barnyard, as they say, as they say on Shark Tank. Take it behind the barnyard and shoot it and kill it, right? As if it was an animal. The next one is free, um, lack of upward growth or, pro or progression. So if you don't see measurable success or growth over an extended period of time, period of time it's a red flag, right? Um, 
Because like the absence of growth could be a signal that it's time for change. And like similar with the money situation, if you're not consistently growing upwards and upwards, it means that there's, there's a, it's a red flag, right? And sometimes, sometimes we can look at others and say, yeah, but they, you know, they're doing this side hustle and look how much money they're making from it. And I do that a lot. I do that a lot. But that isn't the way, you, you can't judge an opportunity based on what others are seeing from it. It's a good indicator as to whether it can work. But here's the thing, we're looking for business models that match us. Not everything is a match for me and not everything is going to be a match for you. You're kind of, as a hustler, a hustler, the term hustler is, is repetition, is the term hustling is repetition, grinding. The term grinding is repetition. You have to get good at repeatedly starting hustles, finding hustles, building hustles. You have to hustle. It's repetition. Boom, 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 boom. You have to get through it. It's not pick an opportunity and ride it till the wheels fall, the wheels fall off for the next 50 years. No, that's not what we're doing. Um, we're, we're, we're looking for hustles that we can get off the ground and scale. Okay, and scale and grow, right? In order to um, grow it to a point where we can either sell it or use that income to then fund and funnel into properties and stocks because that's where the real wealth is built. That's an entire different topic of building wealth, but we can't expect to get, the, the key is not to get rich from your side hustle. The key is to make money from your side hustle in order to take that money and funnel it into the real vehicles that make you long-term money and long-term wealth, which is properties and stocks right? Those two things, and bonds as well, but property and stocks, those are the two things that over time have st have st um, stood the test of time in terms of building wealth, right? 2% of the world's wealthiest have money, are wealthy because of stocks and property. So that's the, that's the end game. These side hustles is just here to create capital, to give you 100K, 500K, you know, a million, two million, three million. So you can take that money and funnel it. So if it isn't seeing the growth that it want, that we need it to see, we need to jump off and it's a signal to do something else. OK, don't fall in love with your hustle. I've done that in the past. It's the one of the worst things you can do. Don't fall in love. Don't become romantic with the side hustles. Trust me, it will kill you. Right. You have to learn. These are little things that you pick up over time. You start to see red flags and you're like, hmm. And it's one of the reasons why I've recently had to get rid of a side hustle because it stopped seeing upward growth and it became stagnant and then it became stagnant and then it started to dip off. So um, lack of upward growth is definitely a red flag and a key sign that you should be given. Uh, you should give up your side hustle. Right. Next one is negative health impact now if your side hustle is consistently causing excessive stress it's time to let things go like this particular side hustle that i had to let go of of my wife while well, speaking to my wife i've been you know it's, it's one of the first side hustles that we one of the first side hustles that i ever created so the reason why i was telling you in the last slide not to fall in love with your side hustles is because I've fallen in love with this side hustle. Once upon a time, I fell in love with it and I've had to break up with it, right? Recently, I've had to let it go, but it's been so hard. It's like being with a partner who is abusive to you, and but you're scared to let it go because all you know is the abuse. All you're used to is the, the harsh conditions and you're like, okay, there could be something better out there, but what if there ain't? What if, it, what if this is the best there is? And that is a dangerous place to be in, right? Because it starts to affect negative health. It starts to lower confidence, lower self-esteem. And you just start to walk around feeling like a loser because, like it or not, human beings, we are hardwired for a few things, a few basic things. And one of the basic things in life is achievement, is growth, right? Just like a plant. A plant is either growing or dying. And we are nature. We too are like nature and like plants. We're either growing or dying. There's no in between. There's no such thing as stagnant. Everything is either uh, we and plants and nature is constantly growing or it's dying. If you look at a plant, grab a plant. It's either standing up tall, bright green, looking vibrant, or it's withering away, getting smaller, leaves turning orange and brown and shriveling up. 
That's exactly what we are doing constantly every single day. We're either doing things and feeling growth and expansive or we're shrinking. This particular side hustle has shrunk me in the past two years. Thank God I've got other things on the go that allow me to um, grow. But if it, if this was the only side hustle that I was doing, it would I would feel like co totally crushed because it's just not growing no more and it's not it's not expanding and it's you know with expansion comes confidence and you know and and that's not what it's given me at the minute so if for yourself if you're seeing it affect your your health your mindset and you're like you know this is crushing me this is killing me you know you even physically if it's not to get headaches feel ill you know you're feeling burnt out these are just all clear signs that it's red flags. This side hustle isn't for you. And like I said, it's horses for courses. You're looking for a side hustle that is a good match for you. Because here's the thing. Not everything takes a ton of time to get off the ground, right? Not everything takes a long time. Once you find the right side hustle for you, things will move really quickly. And there's a quote that I love by Napoleon Hill. And I'm going to try and find it here. If I can find it here. Um, Napoleon, Napoleon Hill quote about money. I'm going to try and find it um, and how fast it did. Um, let's see. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say, um, I can't find it here, but he basically says, oh, here it is. I love this quote. I absolutely love this quote. I'm just trying to show it over. So here's, here's the quote. Okay, here's the quote. When riches begin to come, they come so quickly in such great abundance that one wonders where they have been hiding during all these lean years. And there has never been no truer word spoken, right? When riches begin to come, they come so quickly in such great abundance that one wonders where they've been hiding during all those lean years. Now, this quote for me is enough to get you out of bed every morning and keep you hustling and hustling because it does that for me, right? And it, and it helped me through those tough years. And even when I go through tough times now, it still holds my hand. Because you have to realise once you unlock the key, the abundance flows in so such in such great volumes that you wonder, wow, Russell, all this time, you know, the money's coming thick and fast and all those times I needed it, it was nowhere to be seen and now it wants to all come at once, right? And it's a key, it's a key thing. So um let's see where we're at. So uh, how do I open up this again? What are we doing? So, here we go. Cool. So, um, yeah, I'll just I'll just leave it like this. I'm not sure what happened. If I go in, maybe out. Yeah, cool. So, um, yeah, if it's affecting your health impact, you know, it hasn't got to be hard. You know, it can be challenging. You know, building a side hustle is going to be challenging, but it shouldn't be difficult and it shouldn't be stressful. There's a difference between challenge and stress. There's a, dif there's a difference between difficulty and challenge, right? Everything is a challenge in life. Life is both mixed with opportunity and difficulty, opportunity and challenge. Without challenge, there is no opportunity. OK, and without opportunity, there is no challenge. So um, it's like we only know we only know something is hot because we know what it's like to feel cold. And we only know something is cold because we know what it's like to feel really hot. So you need both sides of the spectrum. Right. Um, but then there's borderline of driving yourself insane and stress and negative, you know, it's just negatively impacting your health. And that's not the aim of the game. We're looking for challenge, not stress. Okay, and bear that in mind. So um, that's it. And 
Um, one of the quotes that I love, I don't know who it's by, but I've got it on, on my mouse pad as well. And it says, nine out of 10 businesses fail. That's why I started 10, right? Like I said earlier, your hustle needs to be, hustle is just another word for grinding and grinding is another word for repetition. You need to constantly, repeatedly bang out hustles, bang out your work, be on the grind because your next investment could be your best investment. Right, so you might settle for making 200, 300, I don't know, a thousand pounds extra per month, whereas your next hustle could be the difference between 10 to 20,000 per month. Right, but why settle here when the next step could be your best step? So you have to constantly be brave and take and be courage, have courage to move forward and see what your next step has got for you. Right, don't just so stop or settle. You got, especially when it's killing you anyway. Just cut your losses and move on and keep going and have faith. Like I've got belief in myself that the next hustle that I get into is either gonna work and be my best hustle, or if it doesn't, I've got the courage to keep going forward to find, you know, find the next one. Right. So have faith in yourself and keep going. Like I said, this is a numbers game. Don't fall in love with your hustle. Keep moving forward and ultimately that's it that's it like side hustles should be fun side hustles you know they should be profitable if it's not then it's just your job it's like a job right you hate your job because it's not fun and it doesn't make you enough money so why would you go and create a side hustle or a side gig that is also not fun and not making you money you might you're better off just staying at your job right why it, it doesn't make sense so like the key to the whole point of why we want side hustle and more money and more freedom is to improve your quality of life improve our quality of life not kill it right we're not trying to kill ourselves we're trying to improve our situations not downgrade we're trying to upgrade not downgrade so um that bear that in mind and these honestly are the three key signs that you should give up your side hustle don't feel don't be too harsh on yourself Look for the red flags if you're constantly losing money, if it's lacking upward growth or progression because you've been doing it a while and it's not growing um, and it's also having a negative impact on your health, then it's time to move on. Let go. Regardless of whether it's making you money or not, you need to let go because your next step might be your best step. So don't sell yourself short. And that's it for me. That's what, I'm taking my own advice. This is recently something that I personally have come across. So I'm just sharing it with you and hoping that you get value from it. And that is it. Um, if you want to book a consultation call with me or if you need assistance, like you watch a video and you're not sure, you know, you want to speak to me personally, feel free to book a call um, with me in the description box below. Feel free, you know, give this video a like, a subscribe to stay tapped in. Remember, um, I'm a dad that hustling from home. I built multiple six-figure businesses. Um, and my key and goal for myself is to spend more time, uh, le less time with a boss, which I never want to go back to, and more time with my wife and kids. So I'm helping you do the exact same, right? If you're a dad, you want to hustle from home and make money from home, I'm here to share with you and teach with you how to spend less time with a boss and more time with your wife and kids. And I hope you get value from these videos. So in the meantime, click a video here. You know, stay tapped in and hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care. Peace.